perfectly and loved his neighbor as himself perfectly. That is why we have a perfect obedience in Jesus Christ, not in ourselves. In ourselves, we are wretched. In ourselves, we are fallen. In ourselves, we are subject to death. But in Jesus Christ, we have the resurrection from the dead and the life everlasting. Because Jesus Christ did what Adam failed to do. Adam sinned, death came. Jesus Christ never sinned. Eternal life came through him who came from above. Jesus Christ is the one from above. John the Baptist said, he that is from above is above all. And no man understands him. So Jesus Christ can only be known by God's revelation to you. Only if you have the revelation of God to you will you understand who Jesus Christ is. And that is why our Lord Jesus Christ said, no man knows the Son but the Father. Neither knows any man the Son of God except the Father. Neither does any man know God the Father except the Son and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. And that is what Jesus Christ came to do. He came to reveal God to us. And we are so glad that that revelation of God has been given to us in the person of his Son. He that has the Son of God has everlasting life. And he that does not have the Son of God will not see life, but the wrath of God abides upon him. We have eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That is why Christ Jesus came. He came to taste death for every man. It was only as man that death could be taken out of the equation. Only in death, only by the overcoming of death could death sting, could death, death be taken away. And we see the death of death in the death of Jesus Christ. Death has no more sting. Death has no more worry for me because we know where we're going. We're alive forever. How? By the Spirit of God that dwells in us. That's what made the difference. And it was this book which they criticized, this book that changed my life from being a gambler to a son of God, a child of God, someone whose sin is pardoned, someone who's known the precious blood of Jesus Christ, cleansing from all sin. And that's why we can boldly proclaim the name of Jesus Christ, because we know where we have come from. We know we've, we've come out of the Mary clay, and God has set our, our feet upon the rock to stay. And there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. That is why Christ died for our sin. Who else would do that? The sinless, spotless Lamb of God, the Passover Lamb, the unleavened bread of God. Christ is that bread. And Christ said, I am the bread of life. He that eats of the bread that I shall give him shall never die. He who drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never die. And this is what we're drinking. We're feeding on the living bread. We're drinking at the fountainhead. And whoso drinketh, Jesus said, shall never, never thirst again. Never, never thirst again. Think of it. There's no thirst. There's thirst in hell where the wicked are going, where the unbelievers, the atheists, yes. where the idolaters are going. Yes. There's thirst. In hell you'll cry out for one drop of water to cool your tongue for the torment. You think it's a nice place to go. There's no friendship in hell, no love in hell. There's hatred, anger, crying, weeping, wailing forever and ever. And hell is real and there's no coming out of hell. The rich man in hell could not come out of hell. He was there forever. He couldn't come out. He wanted one drop of cold water in hell. And he had everything good in his life. In this life, he had everything good. He had everything he wanted. He had all the wealth. He had all the popularity. But in hell, he was tormented. And Jesus Christ has come into this world 
to give us salvation so that we are not condemned to hell. That's why he came. He came being prepared to lay down his life. He didn't take his life. He didn't try and save his life. He said, he that saves his life shall lose it. But he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Have you lost your life? I've lost mine. My life is on the cross with Christ. It is. It is. It is. You, you say, well, you're wearing a nice suit. You look quite respectable. Yes, but in, you don't see the heart. You see, in the heart, we're finished with life. This life is over. My life finished. We are crucified with Christ. We are buried with him by baptism into his death. So that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we should walk in newness of life. And that's what happens when the Holy Spirit comes. He gives you life, life eternal, life in all its fullness. Jesus said, I am come that men may have life and have it more abundantly. The life that Jesus Christ gives is eternal life. It never ends. And that's why you can go through seven deaths. It were a well-spent journey. Those seven deaths lay between. The Lamb is all the glory in Emmanuel's land. Christ is all the glory. The glory of God is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. We have seen him. Job said, Job said, with all his suffering, I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. And it's one thing to hear about the Lord, it's another to see him. And faith becomes sight. Faith becomes sight. The more you walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, the more that faith becomes sight. And eventually, you'll be proclaiming him to the nations because of all that he has done for your soul. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Amen.